Woven with the Arts presents Music of Hope, Not Hate. My name is Mick Hess, and I will begin a 25-part series of music written by imprisoned Jewish musicians during World War II in Nazi prison camps. These ill-fated musicians and composers, ensnared in the Holocaust, prevailed by performing and composing music of profound importance and beauty. Their music will live forever. Please join me the second and fourth Tuesday of every month at 9 a.m. to discover their music. Hey everyone, it's your host for the World Beat Show, Scott Duran, and I want you to join me every Saturday at 11 a.m. where I take you on a journey around the world and show you traditional and modern style world beat music. Music from Africa, Spain, France, Japan, China, heck, even songs and artists from the United States itself. So join me every Saturday at 11 a.m. only on the KSJE 90.9 FM. Good morning here on KSJE. It's time to take our weekly trip to the Encouragement Lab and uh, take a look. There he is. Dr. Mike Hanaba is joining us live this morning. Good morning. Good morning, Scott. Thank you for being with us, of course. And uh, last week we kind of started a, a little bit of a series on things that you have learned in the last 21 years since we hit the new millennium, if you will. And so we're going to continue that uh, this week with, with something new. And what's that? Yeah, so so we discovered, you know, when when it hit New Year's this year, I started thinking, you know, what have I learned since it turned two thousand? Since Y two K, right? Right. Yeah. <laughs> which which uh, since the world didn't uh, end. We learned, yeah, we, we world didn't end, and um, uh, I, I called that one right. I'm happy to say. Yes. Uh, but uh, so so we're we're continue with that. Okay. And, uh, and so this week, here here's the thought: is that lies. Uh, often look like the truth, and the truth often is a lie. Hmm. Okay, I'm letting that sink in here. Okay, all right. Now. So yeah, lies often look like the truth. Right. And the truth often looks like a lie. Interesting. I guess that goes along with the old phrase, truth is stranger than fiction. But yeah, that's a great... Yeah, maybe they learned that last millennium. That's, maybe that's where they, you know, <laughs> they did. So have to relearn. Yeah. That's, that's, that's uh, later down the list. Oh, I'm sorry. Wonder. I'm jumping ahead. Okay. It's not that exact one, but the whole idea, we've got to relearn everything. Right. Uh, but, but yeah, um, you know, uh, one of the realities is that is that we've gotten so good at disguising um, lies. Is, you know, you dress it up, you make it look a certain way, and... Um, it will look like the truth and uh, we believe it. And, you know, there's like, there's like four or five ways I thought about phrasing this uh, and, and I end up settling thinking, okay, I need to tell both sides of this. Right. right. Okay. Is, yes. Uh, you know, another way to look at this is the other side, you know, the side that you disagree with often has truth hidden in it. Right. That you're not ready to acknowledge. Uh, that's kind of fitting for today. Right. Uh, as, as there's a, uh, hopefully a peaceful exchange of power today. It's what right. I think people are hoping for today on uh, either side of this process. Um, but, but yeah, but there's always truth in the other side of your arguments, whether they're political or scientific or anything like that. And uh, one of, I think, the mistakes we've, we've recognized this past year is that you can take the data and tell a lie. True. That's true, and uh, and and so, you know, that's that's part of this process, right? Is the lie a lie often looks like the truth, and the truth often appears to be a lie when when it's first told. Interesting. That's that's true, and I guess so. Um, your advice, so as we kind of move move forward, would be to to understand that and to accept that. Well, and and recognize that that uh, you believe some things that aren't true, and that's. Uh, I recently had a, a bit of a debate with, with uh, another professor at San Juan College over this, and this particular person was kind of bemoaning dumb people. And I said, uh, you know, dumb people with dumb ideas I'm not afraid of, but smart people with dumb ideas I'm very afraid of. Mm. Okay, yeah. <laughs> and, and it's for that reason. Is smart, smart people know how to disguise a dumb idea and make it look like, oh, wow, this is great. This is why didn't I think of this? Yeah. Uh, 
you know, if you talk to detectives uh, in, in that, you know, their sure. job is to study crimes, specifically violent crime, usually, they will tell you that that smart people think they, they can get away with it. And they rarely do because they're not as smart as they think they are. And that's so it's like I said, I'm much more afraid of smart people with dumb ideas than dumb people with dumb ideas, because, again, they're great at disguising it and getting us to believe it for a period of time that is sufficient to uh, change things in ways that benefit them. And that's, that's, that's just a reality. It's around you. It's all around you going on all the time. And you can be mad about it or you can just say, okay, that's, a, that's just a truth that, I, that we face and that I'm going to believe some of those lies and find out later that they were lies. And um, so just be careful what you, you give yourself to, right? That I, that's what I think the big, biggest advice is, you know, be careful that you end up following an idea that uh, will lead to destruction or your destruction. And uh, that's the best way I can say that, I guess. I think that's, that's some good advice, Dr. Hadabaugh. And, uh, and again, despite what your room behind you looks like, not everything is always in black and white. Exactly. Right? Yeah. There you yeah. go. Okay. Very good. Thank you, sir. We'll talk to you again next week. Take care. All right. That's Dr. Mike Adaba, everyone. He joins me from the Encouragement Lab every Wednesday right here on KSJE Farmington. Travel is one of life's great rewards, and there's always something new to see and experience.